Hello, my name is Zach Good. I'm a solution advisor here at Navigator Business Solution. And today I'm going to show you how simple it is for professional services companies to track their project and resources within the SAP S4 HANA Public Cloud Edition platform. In the morning with a cup of coffee, I log in and this is my home dashboard screen. It's catered to my day-to-day -day operations. You can see I have my inbox that pertains the tasks I need to fulfill today. If I want to see my employees notified missing time, it will give me indication of the time recordings by my staff to make sure projects are on target. I can see my project health report as well as other dashboards. A dashboard that I use on a daily basis is this project list. This gives me a list of all my projects that I'm actively working on. I can drill into that project list and see all my projects and their statuses. I also have the ability to filter and save filters for specific projects that need my attention. I have a project example here. And I'm going to dive into this information. At a high level, this gives me all the information I need to see at one single point of truth. I have my general information, planning and staffing, as well as anything that was purchased to the project, time recording and billing. To give you some insight of what that looks like, in my planning information, I can see my plan versus actuals by different work packages or elements within the project. I can see my staff of what they've requested and billed, if their time is billable and non-billable, for example, as well as the billing elements. This is what would be on your statement of work. We can track fixed price, time and expenses, milestone billing, etc., and any invoices that took place would fall down here below. With the spirit of few clicks, I can view this project in more granular detail, and this will give me how the project was set up. For example, if I wanted to see the team, I can see all the team members assigned to this project as well as their effort. If I needed to add another team member to this project, I simply can click Edit, add a resource, and this will pull up my, my entire resource list with their availability. And I simply can check as many resources I'd like and add them to that project. I also have the ability as a project manager to spread their effort by clicking edit. I can and spread it across the months. Here's where we set up our statement of work. But again, whether that's fixed price, time and expenses, or milestone billing, these are the elements that would go on your statement of work. And once that's sent out, the statement of work is automatically linked here for any change orders. If change orders take place, I can track any changes to the project here with the versions. This gives me a whole tangible view and tells the story of what took place in the project. Finally, if I wanted to see everything in one page of what's taken place within the project, I can select my project here and display this project. This is a nice point of view that allows me to drill into financial performance, work performance, team member performance, as well as any invoice information, expenses that took place, etc. I have the ability to use artificial intelligence to summarize. I can tell AI what I'd like to summarize, and it will pull a report and tell me a summation that I can then export this detail and give it to my higher up executive suite. You can see here the summation that AI performed. When it comes to tracking resources, it has everything to do with the staffing as well as the time that takes place within a project. As an employee to submit time, it's very simple within the S4 HANA public cloud platform. An employee can go into their employee section, manage their timesheet, and on the right hand side, they'll have a list of all their projects that they're assigned to. To enter time, they can simply drag and drop on the day and move up the hours, and that will put the time in, and they can save and submit and now we'll send it to their project manager for approval. If it's approved, the time will show up in green. 
if it was rejected, it'd be sent back to you with details from the project manager of what needs to be cor corrected. Taking a quick pause to pull up my resource management piece. SAP does a great job of tracking resources. The concept of staffing resource requests allows me to see as a project manager all the roles in what is needed for a project. For example, for this project, I have a staff resource request for a senior consultant. I can view the request information, such as the details of what's taking place and what project, the hours needed for this project, if there are assigned resources that would show here. And now here I can assign resources at a, at a full view. It gives me an uh, availability match as well as a skill match. If I needed to assign them and this project was in planning phase, I can click assign. This would update their capacity in the utilization screen. If they needed to start tomorrow, for example, I can quick assign them and that automatically makes their time billable the way they're set up in the project. I'd like to compare a couple employees just to make sure they're a good fit for this project. SAP provides this compare functionality that gives me a skills match as well as availability match based off of AI. I can see the skills that are assigned to this employee. So this puts me in the best position to make sure not only does the project succeed, but my team members succeed. Finally, as a resource manager, I like to see where all my team members are, what projects they're working on, and their capacity. SAP has the resource utilization screen that if I change my view here, it allows me to see all my resources and if they're what their capacity is for the months. I can see my average utilization and my total number of resources and who's overbooked. That way it allows me to manipulate the data to allow my users to be working with the best balance as possible. I can check this information, drop down and see all the projects that Aaron Hernand and Andrea Hernandez is working on. If I wanted to change this to a week or day view, it'll break that information where I can edit and change the spread of the hours overall on each individual project. This concludes my video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and thank you for your time. Take care.